Hello everyone, I'm Dominic Deanna and I'm presenting the consciousness exercises. How do you know what consciousness exercise to do, when to do it, how to do it, and how does it impact your life and your body and health? And I'm going to share that with you now. We're going to start out with consciousness exercise number one. There's 12 different consciousness exercises. Uh, we're going to start out with consciousness exercise number one. How do you know if you need to do it? Consciousness exercise number one is defined by someone who feels like they're suffering or if someone has something that they're avoiding consistently. For example, they have addictive personality. They smoke. They drink. Every time they, they are uncomfortable, they take a pill. That's uh, a, a sign that the person needs conscious exercise number one. Uh, and really the epitome of consciousness exercise one is the experience of suffering. I went to India a few years ago and what I learned there is that the avoidance of suffering is the cause of all suffering. If someone has chronic pain, they have chronic shoulder issues they've had for years, they have chronic back issues, they have knee issues, whatever it is that have been going on for years, they have uh, different ailments that have been lingering for years and years, what that means is they haven't fully gotten with the experience. Anything you feel fully loses its grip on you. And with consciousness exercise number one, you put your hands on your body and get with that pain. You get with that discomfort. You get with that suffering and you experience it fully for the first time. Not trying to change it, not trying to make yourself feel more comfortable, not trying to get rid of it, but just being present with it and experiencing the experience. Consciousness exercise number one is for the first time you've acknowledged and been totally present with what's going on with your health or with your life. Put your hands on your body and experience it. That is conscious exercise number one. So remember, consciousness exercise number one is not about avoiding it. It's not about changing it. It's about being present with your body and acknowledge the suffering and getting into the suffering and having value for the suffering. And what we would like to see as a positive outcome as a result of conscious exercise Number one is getting with the suffering and experiencing the suffering for the first time fully so your body can get the gift and move on. So consciousness exercise number one, you put one palm over the other and we're going to start with three different positions. Position one, which is right under your clavicles. Position two, which is at the lower part of your sternum. And position three, which is right over your navel. So we'll start at the top. Go hands a little bit higher, Grace. And notice how Grace has her elbows up. We're going to have Grace bring her elbows in. And I know everyone is shaped differently. Do the best you can with that. The more your elbows are in, the more it provides safety. Elbows up have a little bit different response. We're going to breathe in the nose and out the mouth for consciousness exercise number one. And what we're doing is lifting what's under our hands. Lift. Feel that area elevate the best you can. Exhale, feel every millimeter of the movement of the drop all the way down as low as you can go. Good. Now we're going to go to position two. We're going to take one or two movements in each of the three areas. And what we're trying to find is which one moves easily, which one doesn't move as much. So we know which area of your body needs more acknowledgement and connection. Good. So position one is still moving even though our hands aren't there. Try to focus on your hands. Good. Drop. Good. Now we're going to go to position number three over the belly button, which is easy to see. Push your belly up. Push, 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 push. Good. Exhale, drop. And it's pretty easy to see that position one, so put your hands to your side for a moment, Grace. Position one moved easily. Would you say that was your experience as well? Position two was probably the hardest to lift, and position three was somewhere in the middle. You could feel lift and drop, but it wasn't as easy as the top one, and much more difficult in the middle. So we're going to go to the middle, and that's the part of us that we've disassociated from or moved away from, and we don't feel. So we're going to acknowledge this in the consciousness exercise number one. So we're going to lift in the nose, out the mouth, lift only what's under this area, exhale, Get to the bottom where it feels like it can't go any further and see if you can go a little further in. Good. Lift this area. And what would you say is easier, Grace? The lift in this area or the drop? What's easier to be present with? Probably the 
drop. Yeah, the drop feels like it's easier. Yeah, I, I feel the same. During the lift, I want you to make these statements. Sometimes I feel like I don't fit in. Sometimes I feel like I don't fit in. Good. Exhale all the way to the bottom. Breathe. Lift only what's under your hands. Sometimes it seems like it's never going to end. Sometimes it seems like it's never going to end. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Good. Take your hands. We're going to go to safety and peace over your eyes and forehead. As you breathe in, visualize your head and your Hold face. Um, start that over where you put the hand because I, I heard static on. I don't say JVs. <laughs> it was Dominic's thing. Okay, so start over. Great, so now from here, once you've acknowledged your body, we're gonna to go to safety and peace. Put your hands over your eyes and forehead. Good, a little higher, Grace. Breathe, feel your head and your face expand under your hands. Exhale, feel it contract. Can you feel that easily, Grace? Mm -hmm. The idea here is you're gonna to go to the area that's in distress that you've disassociated from and you're going to acknowledge that area and then go to a place of safety and peace where your body can really digest the experience and experience it fully. Typically stay here for about a half a minute. Go back to position two, palm over palm. Knees up, Grace, if you would. That's even better. Lift this area and get to the place where it feels like your body stops, like that's as high as you can go, and then push through it. It's almost like there's a wall, but that wall's made out of cotton candy, and you can push right through it. Good. Lift that area. Get to that wall of cotton candy and push through it. That's it. Push a little more, a little more. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Good. Drop. Beautiful. Lift. Get to that wall. Push through that wall of cotton candy. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. One more. Lift. Lift, lift, lift. Sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy. Sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy. Drop. Go all the way to the bottom. Beautiful. Put your hands over safety and peace. Grace, that last time that we got the movement there on position two, did it feel like you had more range? There was more movement? Way more range. It looked like there was it looked like the range of motion about doubled. Is that about what you felt? It yeah. was significant range of motion. Um, CE1, conscious exercise number one, is not about changing it. It's about being present with it and acknowledging the theme in that area. And you have consciousness exercise number one. Do it every day, five to 10 minutes. The more you're present with your body and acknowledge your body, the more you develop a relationship with that consciousness. Consciousness number one is the lowest level of existence. We call it suffering in consciousness number one. And think of the theme of consciousness number one is that time in your life when you felt like you didn't fit in. The time in your life where you felt that you weren't welcomed. You felt that you didn't fit in. You felt separateness. And it's the consciousness that in our society, everybody moves away from. That unbelievable pain. And it's almost as if our story in life is that we have to be comfortable. And there's no value to the pain. There's no value to that suffering. Well, let me tell you, the suffering is an important experience that we all need to have so that we could dig deep and figure out who we are, who we are about and what we stand for. In consciousness number one, it's all about experiencing, getting into the suffering and truly feeling the suffering. An example of the, uh, the energy of stage number one is I remember going to a group of people when I was younger, I think I was in first or second grade, and I felt like I was separate. I felt like I didn't fit in. I felt like, it, like, like I, I wasn't included. And it's, the, it's that unbelievable pain that you feel like when you don't fit in and you have no value. Another perspective of, of conscious number one 
is someone who's had chronic pain. I've had chronic neck issues. I've had chronic shoulder issues. I have chronic knee pain. And I've had that going on for 10 or 20 years since I played high school ball. Well, we know that anytime someone has a chronic situation, it's because they haven't fully gotten with the suffering yet. Anytime you are fully with the suffering, it lasts for seconds to minutes. I went to India and we were there for about three and a half weeks at the oneness program. And one of the things that, that I learned at that program that I walked away with is that anytime you're fully with the suffering, you just experience it for, for, for the experience that it is within a few seconds, to a few minutes, and it's completely transformed into joy or even bliss. So again, the cause of all suffering is the avoidance of suffering. And if you have chronic pain, a chronic hurt, a chronic emotional wound, it's because you have yet to get with that experience. Stage one is the foundation. Get in that experience and experience the suffering and the gifts that come with that. That is consciousness exercise number one.